What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. We've got another For the Ladies episode. We've got Mrs. Rifleman here. She is going to put to the test the Hornady Critical Defense Rounds. Now we've got her Ruger LCP. A baby. Her baby. One of many. Um, and we've got the Kimber Micro 9 that we got to demo actually specifically for this video. We used it in the last one to uh, talk about concealed carry options, but we got it to demo specifically for this and then it will be going back uh, eventually here. Um, I'm kind of excited to see how this does. I've heard a lot of good things about Kimber, never had the chance to shoot one, so maybe when we're done I'll put a few rounds through it too. But uh, let's head over to the range and get started with this ballistic test, see how the rounds perform. Let's do it. All right, we got the Thorner Hornady 380 Critical Defense. Let's see how we did. Hey, you got a good hit on that. I remembered the tape measure today. That gave us 10 inches into the gel, about 10 and a half overall wound channel, and uh, it dropped like a rock. All right, we got our critical defense light. It's nine millimeter. Let's see how we did. Okay, so we had a good hit on that second shot. First one was a little low and almost identical to the 380. Had about 11 inches of wound channel and that round popped back uh, just about an inch there. All right, we got our standard Hornady critical defense chambered in nine. Okay, there's our third hit. Very, very comparable between all three rounds, which is actually very impressive considering the 380 and the two nine millimeters. The rounds are all sitting right around that 10 inch mark. The wound channel on the standard duty is about 11 and a half inches. Um, excuse me, the standard critical defense, about 11 and a half inches. But overall, very, very similar results on all three rounds. The wound channels um, are all very similar. 380 is obviously a little bit smaller, but um, between the critical defense light and critical defense standard, the wound channels are almost identical. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman. Another For the Ladies video comparing the Hornady critical defense rounds. Now you're used to shooting a 380. Yeah. How was the recoil in comparison to the nine millimeter light? Uh, the nine, nine millimeter definitely had more of a, a kick and a bite to it. It wasn't uncomfortable by any means, but the, the tip of the gun was definitely going up a bit. Okay. And then how would you compare the two nine millimeter rounds of the light and the standard critical defense? I think the standard had a little bit more kick and power behind it, but I mean it wasn't a big deal and the uh, the results were very, very similar. Yeah. So up to you guys, I mean if you want to kind of carry the novelty of that critical defense light, ballistically we really didn't see any kind of difference. A um, little bit more wound channel on the standard critical defense, but uh, they all performed about the same. Uh, the critical defense light did have a little pink polymer tip in it, whereas the uh, standard critical duty has a red polymer tip. Uh, kind of uh, 
Oh, eclectic is the right word or not. It, it was kind of fun, and I gotta say, the packaging was, was beautiful. They did a good job <laughs> on that. I'll give them that for sure. So, uh, and I guess I'll have to pay more attention at the store next time to see if there was a uh, pink tax, as they call it, on that ammunition. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, uh, found it informative. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram. We're going to try to uh, have some more stuff up there for the, for the ladies. And uh, Let us know what you think of these videos, if you want more of them, and what you want to hear. We want to know. Absolutely. We can, uh, we can only grow and get better if, uh, if you guys are letting us know where we're failing. So. Or what we're doing right. Or what we're doing right. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys all have a great week. Take care. Stay safe. And God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman. Bye now.